Hello, welcome with Lady Rebecca Steiber Glencoe Love Bar. So here we are, and I am going to be making the Swedish meatballs. So where do they originally? They're actually from Turkish. Okay, so if you didn't know that they came from Sweden, they actually came from Turkish. Who, who invented the Swedish meatballs? Let me know. Give me an answer, and um, I can make or bake your favorite meal. Let me know. So now that we are here, I'm going to be cutting the onion. Okay, so I'm using half the onion and I am going to mix it in with the meatballs here. Let me know, can you guess what I am I boiling? Is it the water for the pasta or is it mashed potatoes? Let me know and stay tuned for how we are going to form the, the meatballs. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so as you can see that the onions are really thinly chopped and then afterwards I'm going to mix the ground beef and pork that is already in with the seasoning. You can add salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic and allspice and of course um, you don't want to overwhelm the meat because you want to enjoy okay, the food and the flavor that is in with all the food and product. Stay tuned. Okay, so now that I have cooked the meatballs, I'm going to put them in the oven and I'm just going to keep them warm at maybe at 250. So they're already cooked and I want them to be just a little bit warmer because I'm going to make the sauce with it. So homemade sauce, so stay tuned because here we are to make the original meatballs and where they come from. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome. Okay, so now that I am almost done with the seasoning, I would like to add a little bit more flour into the sauce. You don't want to overbury the sauce or you're only going to taste the flour. So I saved all the broth and meatballs are inside the oven and they're just staying warm. Now, if you are lactose, best thing to do is probably just stay away from the cream. And if you are any intolerance or any food allergy, the soy, which this is, um, I don't think that the beef has soy, depending on what kind of product you're going to purchase. You always want to taste your food. And we, it is almost done. And then afterwards, I'm going to surprise you. What the main dish would be? Is it pasta or is it mashed potato? Stay tuned. Okay, so here I am again and I have decided to make mashed potatoes with the meatballs and I'm going to add probably going to add four okay and then afterwards as you can see, the sauce is already good and mounted. And what I decided to do is just save the broth and mix in a little bit more ingredients. And then just twirl it around out there. And I hope that you have enjoyed the video today. Tell me who invented the Swedish meatballs. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.